famous Maya Bay. Wow, wow, wow. There are not many words to describe this place. I'll see you in there. <laughs> Look at that, it's nothing getting any clearer. Back with the best, and look at this, arriving in style. Good morning guys from Phuket, Thailand. It is actually our last day on the island and we're doing something that we didn't think we're gonna be doing just yet, and that is heading to the famous Maya Bay. After almost four years of closure, it reopened, I think in January, this year and there are rumors that it is closing again very very soon we were actually planning to do it from pp when we head there but with the rainy season and the rumor that it might close again we have decided to do it from phuket and we are back with five star marine the fact that we're doing it with them makes it just so much better they know what the weather is going to be like fingers crossed today it's going to be okay you never know during the rainy season but with them if it does start to rain they can take us to other spots and we have the most exciting day planned Maya Bay we actually went there five years ago on holiday and it was just so crowded and we've seen pictures of it this year it just looks so beautiful I am so excited more importantly the fact that there's a glimpse of blue sky and some sunshine you can actually do this trip a lot of people will do it from obviously PP you can do it from Krabi and you can do it from Koh Lanta but whilst we have some chance at blue sky at some sunshine we thought we might as well do it because what we normally do is we normally put things off and then it never gets done in good weather so we're keeping our fingers crossed fingers and toes that it's gonna be good weather I, I am very excited we are back with the best guy Charlie Charlie say hi Hi. <laughs> um, and we are actually getting on our boat Lucas number three is the name of our boat and the Sun it's still shining a little bit thank you, thank you. Thank you Charlie. and we are off this is another reason that we have done it with five star marine because you get a boat like this this time of year the weather around PP Lay and Maya Bay can be really really rough and the long tails not necessarily regulated obviously they need to make their money with the long tail but not necessarily the safest when the weather can change like that so we've got a boat like this it takes about 45 minutes to an hour and we can already see Fifi Don or PP Don PP Lay um, and the sun is still shining. I hate to keep going on about it, but I don't want to jinx it, and I'm just going to keep being positive. I think you can see as well how rough the sea is, so this is why you need a boat like this. this yeah, year. 100%. I feel like I'm on a surfboard right now. The weather is so good around here today. We wouldn't have even have realized this because back on the Phuket mainland, there was a storm coming in, and as soon as you head out towards PP, it's crystal clear blue skies and I didn't actually realize until today that the PP islands actually make up six islands we're only gonna be going to PP lay today of course for the famous Maya Bay and Pila Lagoon I'm just praying that this Sun stays out Wow 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 I honestly cannot believe it looks unreal majestic no words for it, but uh, it's busy as well. It's I didn't... very, there is, a, there is a lot of boats <laughs> right now. There are a hell of a lot of boats, but it is unreal. I honestly have no words for it. It is amazing. This water colour is ridiculous. Is there even a colour for this? Like what the name of the colour is? Like, I could only think of it as like the greenest, bluest, emeraldest, clearest Welcome to lagoon. Welcome to Oh, amazing. Wow, 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 wow. There are not many words to describe this place. It is absolute heaven, all the different shades of water. This is Pila Lagoon. Uh, Maya Bay is actually the other side of this on PP Lay. And wow, it's actually never closed. So this was never closed. Um, there isn't as much in here to protect. It's just <laughs> crystal clear, beautiful waters. And and again, the charm of doing the tour with Five Star Marine is that we can just chill out here for as long as we want, rather than just stop for half an hour. Stop here for a couple of hours, 
go swimming, go snorkeling, take it all in. It's outrageous. It's crazy to think an earthquake thousands of years ago caused this and then the erosion just keeps causing it to get bigger and bigger. And supposedly this point is deep enough to jump. Oh my God. So, uh, whoa, nearly fell. I'll see you in there. This literally could be me for the day. I'm actually surprised. Um, there's so many boats in here coming from behind. Like we said before, with the long tails, you can only really get them from Pipi Don, the Mail Island. I definitely wouldn't want to get one from Phuket because out of here, the sea is so, so rough. And I don't even know how, but it's raining and there's no clouds in the sky. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god, this is my favourite thing ever. They've even got cold coconuts waiting for us as Matt got out. I haven't even been able to get in yet, mm -hmm. but... Drink it in there. Jump in and drink. No way, Jose. That is so good. Now I can get in and this is unreal. The water is... Look, you can even see my legs. The water is that clear. Isn't it amazing? Unbelievable. It's honestly unbelievable. I don't remember it being this... Did we even time. swim? I don't know. I think that was the, the tour we done. We didn't do the best of tours when we came five years ago on holiday. Everything was rushed. There was like 20 different stops. So yeah. I think we only like drove into the lagoon. Oh my God, we did. We just drove into it. We didn't actually get a chance to I see mean, it. I mean, just look. <laughs> look at that. It doesn't get any clearer. That was just magical. We are now leaving Pila Lagoon. It actually starts to get high tide at around one o'clock. And if we stayed in here, we'd be stuck here until eight o'clock at night, which I can't really complain about. I wouldn't mind, but there's so much more to see. I don't want to leave. No, I know. When you look back at it like that, it's actually crazy. I love, love, love lagoons, especially ones like that. The highlight, the highlight isn't it? The highlight hasn't even come yet. I know. How can it, the question I have is how can it get better than this? Oh, hello. And welcome to Maya. Bay. Almost, um, Maya Bay. almost Maya Bay. Before you used to actually get dropped off at the main beach. Well, I know that we did anyway, um, but now you have to get dropped off here. It's like going to a market. Look at how busy that is right now. It shows you how good of a place it really is. But do we have to walk, did you say? We have to walk, we have to hike over now. Oh my God, we have to hike over. Excuse me. This is, uh, this is crazy. Luckily, everyone here behind me is leaving and we're gonna walk up and over into Maya Bay as you can no longer park your boat on the beach, which is definitely a good thing. It's definitely a little bit busy at the back. That was absolutely insane. I don't think I've ever seen that many people um, ever, but they actually have a new walkway now that comes into this side. You have a special sort of tourism office where you have to buy your ticket. It's 200 baht each. Um, and now we have to walk through another walkway to get to Maya Bay. So this was all done because the wildlife and the marine life around Maya Bay was getting damaged. Around, I think, 80% of the coral was supposedly destroyed or damaged um, because of mass tourism, because boats were going straight onto the beach. There was just too many people. So this is why they closed it. They closed it for three and a half to four years and decided that boats can then park at the back of the island and you have to walk through to get onto Maya Bay, which definitely makes sense. They've said, but we haven't seen yet, we're getting there, that the beach is even more beautiful than it was before. And there's even sharks. Baby sharks have returned to the area. And you also can't swim. You can't swim, which is again, another good thing. It preserves the marine life and saves this place so people can come for decades and decades, then we're all happy. First glimpse. We came at the right time. So many people have left. Yeah, honestly, I can't believe how many people were leaving and how little people are actually here now. That is just unreal. It looks completely different now. The boats aren't allowed to be there and I'm actually pleased that they're not because it looks even more beautiful. I don't even know if that was possible. It looks so different. I honestly, I can't describe how different it looks. It doesn't look like the same place at all, but this is actually where they filmed the film The Beach, I believe it was, of Leonardo DiCaprio back in 1999. There's actually a bit over there where his feet 
touch the sand, but they've blocked it off. So, so we can't, can't walk on there it. anymore. But you can't um, eat the sand. You can't eat the sand, but honestly, wow. I and there's not many people. Have. I would say there's like 20 to 30 it's people It's really here. not that busy. Like if we were to show you the photos from five years ago, you would be shocked. This is, oh, it's now paradise. This is just un... Believable. Look at it. All you can actually do now is paddle. You're not allowed to swim. Does it again make sense? All the sun creams is just ruining the coral, ruining the marine life, and it looks so much more beautiful. When we came five years ago, you couldn't really move on the beach. It was that busy, and there was like stalls selling everything. You could literally buy a beer. Um, now, even in the national parks, any national park in Thailand, you're not allowed to have or drink alcohol. So it's just everything about preserving and just enjoying the beauty. I'm on the hunt for these little reef sharks though because I've seen them, they look so cool. We even have the perfect weather. The, the water is blue, the sky is blue, the limestone cliffs, the green trees, and the, the white sands. And the people are few. The sun is blue, the people are few. You're a poet and you didn't know it. <laughs> I really do not want to leave. They have done just such an amazing job at preserving this place. Supposedly, I think at any given time, there can only be around 300 on here. I think that might have started going over a bit. And when it first reopened, you could only spend an hour, but now you can spend a lot, lot longer. It does open at seven in the morning. Um, we were hoping to do early in the morning, be like the only ones here, but the weather and the tide is crazy at this time of year. So they picked the most perfect time for us to come. And as you can see, it was really busy when we arrived. And as soon as we got to the beach, look, 10 people behind me, 10 people at the most beautiful beach. It is, it really is the most beautiful beach in the world. And now again, the perks of going on a tour with Five Star Marine is we can now choose where we go next. What island we want to, what island we want to go to, maybe where we want to have lunch, maybe where we want to have a beer, who knows. Back on the boat and you wouldn't believe it, but there is like no one here right now. Can I get three uh, of the big changes? Thank you, Captain Car. Cheers. Cheers! A little tiny little cheers there. We have made it to Kai Nok. That is the beauty of having uh, a private tour and having your own boat because you can kind of just pick and choose the islands in the area where we would like to go. I think when we did the PP tour five years ago, we went to Kai Noi. And this, Kai, and this is Kai Nok. Nok, which is cool. It's full of like little beach shacks where little you can get shacks, your chang. Yeah. I love the fact that because you're doing the tour with Five Star Marine, they're like, go to this island because the weather's going to be good here. Go to yes. this island because yeah, there's yeah, not yeah. so many people. And I mean, it's busy, but it's probably normally busier than this. Yeah, it's definitely much busier, but you can always find a chang on one of these small islands. I'm gonna say it, it's not my favorite Thai island, but I think after coming from Fifi Lei, Maya Bay, it had a lot to contend with, but it's still very nice. You can chill out, have a beer, because obviously you can't do that around Maya Bay and just relax for the rest of the day, but it does get incredibly busy and the Chang, incredibly pricey. This is not easy to do after having a Chang but we are leaving Kai Nok Island now and it has been, it's been nice. I like oh. it. Did you just see that? Ow, that hurt my toe. That's two days in a row that you've fallen. <laughs> I'm alive, I'm okay. Just, uh, just don't walk backwards and try and film a molly when there's a, uh, a small hole on the floating jetty. Thank you, Charlie. I know you didn't cut it, yeah. but you prepared it and that is what counts. Look at this, I love the shape of this. Some watermelon, some pineapple to get us back to shore. Charlie, thank you again. You're welcome. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Yeah. Hopefully to see you again soon. I'm sure. Well, we need to finish the passport, so <laughs> <laughs> we'll yeah, be please, back. Please come back. Out of the shower and back in Patong, back in Phuket for our last night. Wow, what a day, what a tour. Again, made completely incredible by Five Star Marine and Charlie. Charlie is just the best guide ever. We actually now have another stamp 
in our little passport that you get from and once you do all seven you get a free tour which I just think is amazing and Maya Bay, PP Lay, they've done it well. They have done it incredibly well. It's a little bit of a shame that you can't swim at Maya Bay but I can see why they're doing it so much better without all the boats, without all the stalls, without so many people. It is extra, it's very loud, extra beautiful. I'm enjoying this off that. It's well deserved the Chang after a hard day's exploring paradise. But like I said, it is our last night in Phuket and actually our family member that's been with us is heading home tomorrow. So we're going to head out for one last meal, a really nice meal. I'm not even sure where we're going to go yet. We're hoping to find somewhere around on the hilltops overlooking the ocean. We'll probably enjoy a couple more Changs. Cheers. I was only looking for somewhere with a view and I've ended up going very, very fancy. This is Ban Rimpa and apparently it's been going since 1998 and is regarded as one of the best Thai restaurants in all of Thailand now and the view over Phuket, over Patong is beautiful. You're getting the last glimpses of the sunset and the Thai food looks amazing. Probably a little bit expensive but worth it on our last night. Obsessed with the Thai prawns. The best dogs are. Matt might be obsessed with prawns, but I'm obsessed with a Massaman curry. And look at how cute it is. It comes in these little pots with my spoon and a little pot. Try it. Of you, rice. Ordered, you ordered medium spicy. Oh my god. So okay, I'm I using think this. It's going to be really spicy. I don't know if this is the etiquette to eat it with a spoon, but. We don't fit in any of these classy places. Oh, peanut. Not too spicy at all. That is perfect. So creamy, and the chicken is so tender. It just falls off the bone. 